campaign finance report. <laughs> uh, Campbell's Act, yes. Lord Campbell, nope. <laughs> it must be in here someplace. Right. Mm -hmm. Campaign. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I do not see it. No. Nope. <laughs> Campaign. Um, let me go back to McCain Fine Gold. Yes, maybe I'm not spelling it right. Now, when I go through the actual training of all those involved in politics in the United States of America, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there are some concerns that I have about these false arrests and false imprisonments and the refusal to enforce Brady laws. Yeah. <laughs> As if you're just going to continue to deny me the right to run for office or to start a new political party. <clears throat> now, uh, McCain, McCain, uh, it looks like a going to malicious motive, malicious prosecution. We looked at that. <laughs> Vindictive court proceeding. <laughs> Malice on the part of police and sheriff's department. <laughs> a malicious act, a malicious arrest. <laughs> The malicious damage and the malicious mischief of refusing to acknowledge my rights as a citizen of the United States of America. <laughs> now, I'm just looking for that McCain-Feingold Act again. It seemed that somebody had recently retired these uh, ex-politicians. Yes. <laughs> I thought I'd get with the 33 longest-serving senators in the United States of America. <laughs> I could have them explain it to me. <laughs> Some vice presidents that had been vice presidents that are now very involved in global warming. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There's got to be all kinds of trainings available to me. <laughs> there is. <laughs> you know, when you're wanting to start a new party, you're wanting to compete against the Democrats and Republicans. <laughs> Isn't the thing to do is to go through the actual training that they give to those that are on their party list? <laughs> yes. And then I would know how they train them. I know what to say. <laughs> See, I'm wanting to win that Congressional Medal of Honor today. <laughs> the thought is Congress is going to be so happy that I started a new national party to compete against the Republicans and the Democrats <laughs> that I'm going to win a Congressional Gold Medal for <laughs> the idea. <laughs> See, I was looking in the encyclopedia. No, <laughs> the malice or fact. <laughs> I know you're upset about it. I, I can't find it. You know what? <laughs> I did find something that I thought was interesting, though. <laughs> I put a little piece of paper in here. Yes, I did. <laughs> in fact, I have multiple pieces of paper, but I can't seem to find them. Ooch. <laughs> oh, there's what's known as legislation. Yes. <laughs> and then there's the legislative intent of a designer plan that enacting legislation puts it into have had application. <laughs> what is the legislative intent of false arrest, false imprisonment, and the refusal to enforce the exonerating evidence of Brady Law? What is the legislative intent? <laughs> state legislatures, <coughs> each and every one of you that have any knowledge of this crime, <coughs> that said, I don't have to enforce the laws. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that each state of the United States needs to <laughs> kind of divvy up the houses, <coughs> a third, a third, a third. Yes. And then some governors, they're citizens, some are Democrats, some are Republicans. <coughs> I know you're upset about it, but <laughs> when nobody in the United States <laughs> enforces the laws, yes. <laughs> See, this is something that I just found out about. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, the doctrine that a confession is inadmissible if obtained during an unreasonably long detention period between arrest and preliminary hearing <laughs> because of the broader protections afforded the Miranda rule. <laughs> now, how are your Miranda rights being violated when you have the evidence that somebody didn't commit a crime? <laughs> could sue you for it. <laughs> well, it was false arrest, false imprisonment. You did know I wasn't in squim, I wasn't in Brendan, and your old thought was you're going to cover up your crimes. Now, there was one other thing. Oh, the McNaughton rules. Yes. <laughs> the doctrine that a person not criminally responsible for an act when a mental disability prevented the person from knowing either the nature or quality of the act oh, or whether the act was right or wrong. <laughs> The federal courts in most states have adopted this test and so forth in the McNaughton's case. <laughs> now, four points stand out and should be understood whenever reference to a McNaughton is made, <laughs> other than in regard to procedure. Yeah. It applies only in case of defective reason. <laughs> From disease of the mind. <laughs> and without this, and the following does not apply except what disease is so huge. <laughs> 